Uh, I also uh, thank again the university, the Seika University, for their uh, generous support of this event by letting us use their facilities. I thank the uh, members of the organizing committees. Last night, I, as I said, I particularly thank Thomas Daniel and Edward Jackson for their dealing with all these difficult and detailed aspects of the conference. And my friend Juan Marimel was asking me, why did you not mention my name? <laughs> so I'm going to mention Juan Marimel, Stan Yamasu, Katsu, Professor Katsuri Komuramoto, and other people. And I also uh, thank the uh, participants, general participants, uh, who are here as uh, paper presenters and also their family members. And I also thank the uh, audience members who came to join this event. Um, I'm going to say sort of a little story about the history of, of the second event. The first event, as you know, was held in Haifa, Israel. And this event was organized by Professor Aris Arabot and uh, Professor Alan Newman. And that was the beginning of this whole idea about continuing uh, events of architecture and phenomena. And in, I think, in one much time, I made a sort of comment, which was basically a passing comment, David Lederer, Professor, Doctor, and David Lederer. I said, David, hey, it might be a good, good idea to uh, hold a conference in East Asia. That was the, my comment. That's the end of the comment. <laughs> <laughs> and I think David took it quite seriously. And then he shared this with Iris, one of the founders of this event. <coughs> and Iris came to me and she said that, yeah, I think it's a very nice idea. You should pursue it. So that was the sort of beginning of the idea about having a conference in East Asia. <coughs> and we decided to have this event in Kyoto uh, for a couple of reasons. There was a practical reason. Uh, we have these members, Professor Thomas Daniel and Professor Benoit uh, Chakwet, who can be working in Kyoto. So we have this great contact <coughs> in Kyoto. But also, uh, Kyoto is a very special place in terms of phenomenology. Uh, because of the uh, presence of a distinctive uh, school philosophy, which is usually called Kyoto Kaka, Kyoto Philosophical School. And its, it's father is Itaba Nishida. And this, uh, uh, though he never studied in, in foreign countries, uh, his disciples sometimes brought the ideas of their master uh, to France and to Germany. So, there is a sort of belief that uh, there is very indirect uh, sort of intellectual current uh, that happened between Japan uh, during the first half of the century and Germany in particular. So we thought uh, that phenomenology, even though it has been mostly understood as a Western discourse, by having the, uh, this event in Kyoto, we thought that we can create a very interesting dynamic uh, sort of dialogue between the way phenomenology is understood in the West and the way sort of phenomenology is understood in this Eastern country, East Asia. So this was the sort of background about why we have chosen Kyoto as the place for this event. Uh, I just hope that this event evolves in a, in, a, in a very wonderful way for the coming four days. And I also hope that, um, thank you. <laughs> this event may turn out to be a great opportunity to share our ideas about architecture, city, and phenomenology. And also we create some uh, mutual support, network of mutual support through uh, this event. <coughs> um, and I also hope that this, will, this event will not be the last one, but it can be continued.
近年，有一个很明确的。So again, thank you very much for joining this event. I hope you have a wonderful time in in during this conference and also. The visit you may make to different parts of Kyoto and to different cities of Japan. Thank you very much. I know that we have had a long break already, but uh, the first keynote speaker, uh, Professor Dariwood Vesely, his lecture is scheduled to take place at 11. So please feel free to uh, breathe some uh, fresh air. And then uh, please come back by 11. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.